Me and Racine got cool because of Saint Germain. Mm hmm. On the slack. That nigga, that nigga used to call me Slate Jermaine. Like, he called me Slate Jermaine before <laughs> like, I even knew anything. Because, you know, everybody is everything. But then a person posts a St. Jermaine video, you my friend for life. That's just the reality. <laughs> it's nothing else that we can say. You're just my homeboy. So, and he'll tell you, ever since he posted that video, I've been yeah. his homeboy. So, yeah. it's just yeah. more or less of, you know how to get to my heart with St. Jermaine videos. But I digress. Mm -hmm. Um Saint Germain is a shapeshifter energy, vampire energy that does not die and lives does forever. Okay. Does it has many die. different personas and many different energies. And I truly believe that Saint Germain is alive today. I put a spell on you. given to our poor human intellect to climb up to the skies and to pierce the counsel of the Almighty One. But methinks I stand among the awful clouds which veil the brightness of Jehovah's throne. Methinks I see the recording angel come trembling up to that throne and speak his dread message. Father, the old world is baptized in blood. Father, look with one glance of thine eternal eye and behold evermore the terrible sight. Man, trodden beneath the oppressor's feet. Nations, lost in blood and murder and superstition. But ah, the voice of God speaks from out the awful cloud. Let there be light again. Tell my people, the poor and oppressed, to go out from the old world, from oppression and blood, and build my altar in the new. Yes. As I live, I believe that to be his voice. my soul trembling on the verge of eternity were this hand freezing in death were this voice choking in the last struggle I would still implore you to remember this truth God has given America to be free as I sank into the gloomy shadows of the grave with my last Faint whisper, I would beg you to sign that parchment for the sake of those millions whose very breath is hushed in intense expectation as they look up to you for the awful words. You are free. I put a spell on you. Elizabeth the first is known as the Virgin Queen. Jesus has is born from a mother who is a virgin, Virgin Mary. Mm. Correct? Mm hmm So what is being said is that this woman can bring forth a child through specific spiritual means. Now, what is the difference? But how can a woman be a queen and not just be replaced by another man and then be elevated to a space where no other man was elevated to well ultimately she was a virgin but it also goes into you can google it that she had a son 
Now, John D is a person who did magical working after magical working. You can get Jason Lou's book, John D in the empire of angels. Mm -hmm. Very good book. Very great. Uh, excellent book. That shit woke me up a long time ago. John D in the empire of angels. And it gets into all of his magical workings with Mr. Kelly, R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. I, I not that R. I Kelly. apologize. Not that, not that I apologize. R. Kelly. Some other Kelly, R. Kelly, Robert Kelly, or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I digress. So before John D, there was no term such as called the 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 British Empire. Mm -hmm. So before John, D, before all of this stuff ever happened, bro. France was in America. France had found Louisiana in the 1700s. France yes, found Detroit in the 1700s. France mm -hmm. named St. Louis after Louis, their King Louis, right? Mm -hmm. In the 1700s. France mm -hmm. had relationship with the Mound Builder Indians, i.e. Black people, since mm -hmm. the 1700s. You can look at Alexander. All the way up to Schuylkill Valley. Alexandra Dumas, Black mm -hmm. General. Mm -hmm. From Honest Lovecraft Country, I, I might add, but go ahead. Shameless plug. Shameless plug, right? Trying to give y'all the clues. The Count of Monte Cristo, okay? Mm -hmm. It's talking dope about movie. a Another relationship, but that was the book that was reading in Lovecraft Country. Mm -hmm. Trying to let you know that there is a hidden history in relation to your bloodline that is specifically being subverted through spell work. Spell work. Listen, man. This energy in relation to Jesus being Christ is real. Jesus is energy. a real person in a that lived not too long ago. Okay? Mm -hmm. He was born from a virgin mother. This mm -hmm. so after Queen Elizabeth, the next king was King James. Mm -hmm. The Bible is named the King James version of the Bible. So, do you mm -hmm. think that the Bible would be more centered around King James mythology or some mythology that happened 2,000 years ago that King James was never alive to see? <laughs> so, if I can edit a book, would I edit it to make it more realistic to 2,000 years prior? Or would I make it more realistic to the days and times for which I'm living in? So when you talk about Jesus's power, you just don't know who Jesus is. Now, mm -hmm. we live in America and y'all want to deny the power of Jesus. You just don't know who Jesus is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's backtrack. Elizabeth, Virgin Queen. A lot of y'all live in Virginia. Who is Virginia named after? Elizabeth, the Virgin Queen. Who is West Virginia named after? Elizabeth, the Virgin Queen. Now, is this Virgin Mary of 2000 years ago? Or is this Virgin Elizabeth a few hundred years ago? Virgin Elizabeth. A few hundred years ago. So quite naturally, now let's let's get our Googles together. Mm-hmm. Par the no genesis parthenogenesis let's talk about this oh that should be pretty easy because i was already there thank you let's talk about this parthenogenesis uh the re the reproduction from an ovum without fertilization especially as a normal process in some intervertebrates and lower plants normal process so Normal process. So she created a child on her own, aka Sophia, aka without a man, without a man, without a man. Created the smartest man in the fucking world, fam. 
Is that is that not the same thing as asexual means propagation? Yes, that's this. It, okay. it's the same thing as I don't need no nigga to raise this baby. I don't baby. need no nigga. I don't need no nigga. I don't need no nigga to raise this baby. It, it meant that shit and raise mm -hmm. the nigga and raise however many kids she had with no man. It didn't look twice. Goddamn mm -hmm. Kevin Durant saying, "Mama, you the MVP." Now you mean to tell me under Kevin Samuel's logic? The only basketball player should be men who are raised under mother and father and the dad is shooting hoops with the son every day because he got that strong masculine energy. Pretty much. Kevin Durant is washing all of them niggas who grew up in strong households. Kevin Samuels, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, Kevin. Please do. He ain't Please have no dad still, in the house. And, and Kevin Durant... And girl LeBron James didn't grow up with no dad in the house. Gloria was out here fucking Delonte West. Yes, she was doing her thing in these streets. Out here thotting it up. And LeBron mm -hmm. James is the GOAT. So, mm -hmm. now you mean to tell... Now, I'm not... I'm not saying nothing. I'm just laying out observations. So, let's let's digress for a second. Because you're talking about King James, Serpent. My bad. <laughs> you just said King James. So, I didn't even mean to, but spirit must have put me there because I wasn't even, bruh, I wasn't bruh, even connecting it. We spirit led. We spirit led today. We spirit led today. And niggas is just going to have to take this shit, bro. Just take this work. They're you just going to have to take it. Cause in my, in my nobody, loaded Lux voice, you're going to get this work today. Because all of these videos, bro, they, they covering the news, but they're not talking about John McAfee. Nope. Isn't that the same dude that mentioned one file, one USB with like 31 terabytes and the next thing you know, a building came down? But I digress. Okay. And nobody, ahead, knew, nobody knew how it came down. It's like all of a sudden, when did we start tearing down buildings again? Like it just woke up and people looking for people that died in the building. And nobody oh. bats an eye because it's not nobody sensational. Bats an eye. It's not mm -mm. sensational. It's mm -hmm. not sensational. But Who we cares me... about 31 terabytes of information on, you know, exposing public officials who cares about that but see right? the reality is that we don't need them terabytes no more because if mm -hmm. you was to actually kill somebody then you realize that you can't actually kill somebody and you can tap in and tune in to the energy of john mcafee and i guarantee you if you having money issues i feel bad for you son word up son john mcafee was out here <laughs> putting you on word up but you're not so his whole but his see, whole life but his whole entire life was about putting people on. Like, imagine this dude. He create an antivirus system, and that's a key on words, because we're not going to talk about the virus today. Mm -hmm. But John McAvee came up with the antivirus situation. So this whole operation was a smoke out on to getting mm -hmm. rid of a virus. Yep. But you got to <laughs> understand... Bill Gates came out with Windows and he gave y'all the computer knowing this is analogy and you got to have eyes to see this and ears to hear. Yeah, a little abstract. Bill Gates gave us the computer knowing damn well that viruses was going to be easy. You would go on a website without a McAfee and your shit would be done for. Back in the days, 98, 2000, you on the done. internet and you don't got McAfee antivirus software. Your shit is over with. So over with. You had that computer for two, three days. Two, three days, and you got a virus on your shit, and you cannot use it. You got to get your shit to a computer repair shop ASAP. And don't let it be a Trojan. You might have to get a whole new system. Yeah, you're going to need a whole new system after a Trojan. But then John McAfee said, you know what? I understand this. And created the antivirus system. So ultimately, mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's. Let's jump down the rabbit hole real quick. Mm -hmm. Johnny Depp has signed up to play Quirky McAfee, antivirus creator John McAfee. <laughs> I swear, I, I just want to say before <laughs> you go any further, I need the people to know I had no idea about this. I was not privy to this information. This nigga pulled this shit out of his back pocket. I am just as in awe as you are. Go ahead, big bro. <laughs> hey, I, it just came to me too. I just I said, because I was already tuned in and tapped into this frequency, but it was like a bookend and it was like mm -hmm. to be continued. 
And then mm -hmm, once this mm -hmm. all happened, it was just like, and it was like it made it make sense. It was like your Rolodex went off. I right? found, I, I found you. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So because we've been talking about ever since me and Racine had linked up, like we, me and Racine got cool because of Saint Germain. Mm -hmm. On the slack, that nigga, that nigga used to call me Slick Germain. Like he called me <laughs> Slick Germain before like, I even knew anything. Because you know everybody is everything, but then a person posts a Saint Germain video, you my friend for life. That's just the reality. There's <laughs> nothing else that we can say. You're just my homeboy. So he'll tell you, ever since he posted that video, I've been yep. his homeboy. So yep. it's just yep. more or less of, you know how to get to my heart with St. Germain videos. But I digress. Mm -hmm. um, St. Germain is a shapeshifter energy, vampire energy that does not die and lives does forever. Okay. Does it has many die. different personas and many different energies. And I truly believe that St. Germain is alive today. And the reason Absolutely. that everything is happening in the way it's happening is because people are trying to suppress us and move us from this St. Germain energy. But the thing about it is that it's a non-physical energy and it can specifically possess or has possessed and lives multiple people's lives. Now, this sounds crazy and I know, but you just either going to have to take it or leave it. So this energy. I just want to say the imagination world is the real world. So use your imagination. Use your Go imagination. Ahead. This one powerful energy can control a multiple of many different people, but they all have a particular energy and entity and they exist at different times, but they exist all in this moment. Now, as soon as you understand the codes and most of it is like ready player one, where you got to get into the digital world and find the keys mm -hmm. to master and level up. But the little nuggets. The little nuggets because ultimately you living in this world and you not fully understanding what's happening and maybe you understand what's happening in your world but what's happening with the people that you love is kind of like it's kind of confusing so let's just talk about this movie king of the jungle about john mcafee right played by johnny depp johnny depp in this movie is i think that's a coincidence that's just crazy that's a crazy coincidence right and so Johnny Depp is like the go-to guy for what's the word I'm looking for? Masonic? Secret Society? Yeah, 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 yeah. Occult, 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 occult understanding. Occult understanding movies that allow you to tap in. And so Johnny Depp is playing John McAfee. Now, once I seen this, I said Johnny Depp in the ninth gate is about John McAfee. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about John McAfee is that he is an antivirus technical dude, but he got books on yoga. He got books mm -hmm. on psychedelics. He got books on raising Kundalini. Okay, mm -hmm. he got spiritual information and spiritual books. So ultimately, it's not just about the tech with the bro. He more mm -hmm. of a spiritual energy. And because of this spiritual energy, he is got super super wealthy and he tuned in and tapped in to the um i'm still on a lot yeah he tuned in and tapped into the uh energy of what is that cryptocurrency right john mcafee is literally the father of crypto okay mm -hmm. they said that he had not only did he have 32 terabytes of hidden information he had hidden crypto that's unaccounted for is 5 million some odd cryptocurrency coins that can't nobody find. And that's out of 21 million. And so the understanding is John McAfee, this is all speculation. John McAfee is the founder of Bitcoin and that's why he had 5 million in the tuck. But there's also videos of John McAfee saying that he got body doubles and all types of shit and they'll never find him. And he was talking to the dudes like, you don't know that you're talking to John McAfee right now. You just think that you're talking to John McAfee and that's what I want you to think. And so let's just continue the interview because the dude was asking about body doubles and things of that nature. So as we are fully understanding the power of John McAfee, I would say watch his videos take notes and apply the information because it might be useful to you in trying to understand cryptocurrency and when it's going. And since he has transitioned on June 23rd, the market is back on a high rise. So it's a lot of things that has been happening in the world ever since he has transitioned. But ultimately, if you're not paying attention to it, 
you might just completely go it go in one ear and out the other. So that's Johnny Depp in the King of the Jungle, right? Mm -hmm. And now let's look at Johnny Depp in the Ninth Gate. So Johnny Depp is Dean Corso, a rare book dealer, is appointed by a renowned book collector, Balkan, to verify the authentic authenticity of one of his books. According to sources, only three copies of that book exist, and it's in three different places. After losing his friend who has been killed for that book, he leaves on the mission. He wants to verify Balkan's book, but finds something else. During his dramatic travels through Paris and Madrid, too many things beyond his expectations are revealed. So that movie is The Ninth Gate, and that movie is featuring Johnny Depp where well, Johnny Depp is working for the establishment and he's trying to do his best job for the establishment. But then as he's studying, so he has this book and this book is a book of tarot card. Mm -hmm. And each tarot card, each book is the same, but the only difference is how it is signed. And on some of these tarot cards, they're signed by the devil himself. So if you don't understand holistic thought, you might view the devil as a bad guy, but if you had took the shadow work course, you would understand that Jesus and the devil is just one side of the next side. And when you put them together, you are whole. And where in the movie, they're looking for Satan this whole entire time. But once he figured out me and Johnny Depp, he's like, shit, I want the book for myself. I ain't about to give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he takes the information, takes the girl, and like levels up. So, and how that relates to John McAfee, I think people was trying to son John McAfee, but John mm -hmm. McAfee could not be son because he is a spiritual being having the human experience. And he, he knew that. And he knew that. And he knew that. He knew and that. And he utilized it and he lived it in his full prosperous way. And he had a melanated woman by his side, which might have had something to do with it, but I don't know. What you think? No, I uh, there there's there's not a part in me that could rebuttal anything that you said. I think everything fits perfectly, and I just think that when you point to the ridiculousness of things that end up being coincidences, it's probably a better idea to believe in the ridiculous part than to believe in the coincidence. Right, because it's easy to just say, "All right, those things just are the same." So, you know, let you, you just accept it. But when you believe in, when you understand how to incorporate your imagination, then you'll understand that this was all a ritual, and this was all done on purpose. And that man clearly had more information than he was telling people. It's just that the people were just, they were just tied to the narrative. So. Mm. Um, for there to be a connection between Ninth Gate, Johnny Depp, and John McAfee, the dude that just made transition, I think that's phenomenal, bro. And I just want to commend you on, on that work. That's dope, bro. Like that's phenomenal. Bro. But peep it though, John D is an Anglo-Saxon spellmaster, right? Mm -hmm. And took Europe out of the Black Plague into one of the most powerful dynasties that the world has ever seen. And they have done that purely off of the manipulation of sound, yes. right? To get the the gods to twerk on the club, to Gap Band records and things of mm -hmm. that nature, to do line dances, to do house music, and to dance and jig on a Saturday night when we should be in tuning to our divin. Not let me digress, because maybe mm -hmm. that's what we came down here to do: is to have a good time. But in reference to the people who are down here that have no enjoyment for the fuckery and trying to figure out how do I level up? Well, mm -hmm. you need to do what they're doing. They're doing spell work and tuning mm -hmm. into the elementals and doing rituals on particular new moons and, and dealing with the cyclical nature of sidereal astrology. These are all things that John D brought forth to which now you look at astrology and, and spiritualism and occultism is popular right it's one of the mm -hmm. biggest things that's happening in the world 
But another it's the thing, new fat. It's, it's the, the new, new fat. fat, but it's watered down. It's watered down. It's not and, going and to think, give you nothing, and it's I not going to be key, a salvation. I think a key component to point out for the family is that the reality is that all of these people that we speak about, especially when we speak about things from the European, Anglo-Saxon, whatever, colonial type atmosphere, all of these people were master astrologers. Masters. All of these people were master sorcerers. They were their own magicians. Like they did this work. These it was getting did, women did pregnant. Did Listen, work. they were getting, they got Elizabeth pregnant so she could create Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon mm -hmm. then took the energy because mm -hmm. this is how real it gets. What's the first state of the union? Virginia. Virginia, yeah, Virginia, Virginia. Virgin, Mary. Virgin Mary. Okay, so he's he's named. Do you think he named it because she was the queen, or did he name it because that was his mom? He named it because that was his mom. Wouldn't you name the? Wouldn't you name it after your mom, bro? Absolutely. If, if I you found right the new that, country, yeah. if you found the new country, now Francis Bacon was the. Hold on, because I don't want to miss. I'm gonna say this. You can talk to people. I gotta look at something real quick. No, I think uh, it's 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 perfect because the way it comes across is that people think it's just some some fantastic shit that just sounds good. But the thing about it is that these people have been putting these implementations in place for a very long time, and these rituals have been around for a very long time. So. We talk about the spell work. John D is also the person that's responsible for putting this collecting collection of individuals under the current 400 year spell. And if you're privy to the teachings, the teachings say that it's been a cycle of consecutive 400 year spells. Before this 400 year spell, uh, uh, melanated people had the 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 Europeans under a spell for 400 years, and it just keeps going back and forth and back and forth. Well, John D being the father of the new civilization and the AKA New Atlantis, the new world, John D was the one that was responsible for this 400 year curse. A hundred percent. He is the one who, 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 who implemented that to Europe. And that's why they call him the father of the Renaissance. This is from DW Cooper and Lawrence Gerald. There has been more written about Francis Bacon's life from the age of 16. So Francis Bacon's life from the age of 16, when he left England and traveled to the continent during the 1570s, meeting up with the leading thinkers of the Cultural Revolution in France and his other formative years and the elders who had shaped, shaped his mind. Mm -hmm. Alfred Dodd in his book, Francis Bacon's Personal Life Story, quotes Bacon's biographer and chaplain, Dr. Raleigh, I shall not tread too near upon the hills of truth letting us know that his biography of Bacon would not be too exact in its details. Why would they not give you the full details? Because Bacon is the son of Queen Elizabeth through divine birth, through virgin birth. Francis Bacon is who people pray to when they pray to Jesus because he mm -hmm. has been spiritualized and he probably not transition like people think, but I'll continue. Mm -hmm. Dodd's book speculates that Queen Elizabeth secretly supervised the education of young Francis. There are only brief accounts of his early days at the York House with his adoptive parents, Sir Nicholas and Lady Anne Bacon. So he, he got adopted. Who is his mom? Mr. I just, Elizabeth? I, I just want you to just, I'm just putting things out for you. Now let's deal with mm -hmm. this. The Virginia Company, so for those who don't know, John D. was Francis Bacon's mentor and tutor. Because mm -hmm. John D. was Elizabeth's aide and, mm -hmm. and help for, for a percentage of his she life. Was, she was, uh, he was her spiritual confidant. Yes, yes, I, exactly. So this is about the Virginia Company of London was a joint stock company chartered by King James the first. The same dude who had wrote the Bible also chartered the first joint stock company. And what was the energy that he was given to the people who lived here already? The Bible. So King James 
right? This is your indoctrination. This is your TVA, the Bible. They're saying that God mm -hmm. created you and things of that nature, but mm -hmm. I digress. Such a venture allowed the crown to reap the benefits of colonization, natural resources, new markets, leverage against the Spanish, blah, blah, blah. The company established a settlement at Jamestown, Virginia in 1607 over the next 18 years. And I just mm -hmm. want to find the first charter in 1606 and just get to a point where Francis Bacon was a part of the first charter. Yeah, that was his that was his mentor. John D was Francis Bacon's mentor. Okay. And by 1609, the council had swelled to 50 members, including elites such as the philosopher and essayist Sir Francis Bacon. So mm -hmm. Sir Francis Bacon was a part of the charter, the second charter, to establish a colony in America, right? And this Virginia Company of London actually is the root of what we call America to this like so without the Virginia Company of London we don't have what we're celebrating today or tomorrow for independence you don't Day. you don't you don't get to the 13 colonies no. and you don't get to the 50 states no you don't you don't get so meaning that you don't get the 50 states of America without Sir Francis Bacon but what is the religion of America is easy it's christianity who is jesus is jesus somebody who existed 2000 now i'll just use your brain does it make sense that we would worship somebody who existed in another country 2000 no. years ago as our mm -hmm. patron saint or the lead religion of the whole new country or would it be somebody that actually existed in the world through spiritual means and what is the spiritual means for which a person would to be born by John D in his spiritual workings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So you get these spiritual workings, you have this child and then this child gets adopted and we don't know the real story. But then at the same time, we got Illuminati this, Masonic this, ritual this, secret society this, this, Rosicrucian this, Epstein that, John McAfee this, right? What are they hiding? What is the secret? That men do not need women and women do not need men. What you actually need is to unite your masculine and feminine energy within yourself, within yourself. to become God, to then bring birth to life when you unite your physical and masculine energy. Super far fetch, right? Super hard. No, it isn't. I'm I got to bow to you on that because you put that together so beautifully. That was dope. Go ahead. I'm just saying it's, it's to the normal person. That's like far fetched because now you need a man to, to support you. You need a man mm -hmm. to pay your bills. Right. But mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. red pill, women, red pill or blue pill. But purple pill is realizing that it would be nice to have a person around me, but I don't need anybody for shit. If, 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 if everybody wants to turn their back on me and say, you know what, hood mystic, fuck you. I'm going to mm -hmm. be okay. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately I've united my masculine and feminine energy. And that's all I can do. Cause I can't make another person love me, nor can I make another person respect me. But in reference to how you going to actually tap in and tune in the purpose of this talk was to show people that this is how they get down. But they get down like this in secret because you can get down just like they get down, but 10 times better. But what's the difference? You just not doing it. <laughs> you more yeah, paying you think attention. It, you, think it's too, you think it's too crazy. You think it's too weird. And, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit. We, <laughs> we so here, there's a, man. There's a, yeah, so like, there's a level. There's a, there's a level that you can get to. And that level that you can get to can be obtained all from self. From self, and, yes. And 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 once you understand that you can get to that level, once you get to that level, then you understand that everything else just falls away. And then you realize, like, holy shit, like I didn't need none of this stuff. I didn't need any of this, any of this stuff that I told myself I needed. All right. But a you were under a spell. You are under a spell. So exactly why. The reason why you can't fault somebody else for not knowing 
You yeah. can't fault yourself for not knowing. Ashe. So the same way you would be delicate to yourself, you need to be delicate to other individuals. Ashe. Because Ashe. most individuals don't know that they were under a spell. This is the so key. You yelling at them and being mad, like, well, arguing you know, online, being, like, all that, st like that stuff doesn't get anywhere because you're you're possessed having an argument. <laughs> like you're possessed having an argument. Hundred percent. You know, 100%. so once we can get past those, those, those tree branches in, in in those trees, once we can get past that, then the field is wide open. I say, I say, you got to break through the barrier. You got to do yeah, the shadow what work. What you want to do in the field is what you want to do in the field. You don't get to the field and be like, "Who's watching me?" All right? Who's well, going who, to pick me up in a chariot? Yeah, like no, you got to get to that field, and once you get to that field, everything else opens up for you. Like that's what this conversation is about. This isn't about anything else. Like we made it seem fly because we two people that like talking to each other. But at the end of the day, like the possession part, the mesmer mesmerization, the being mesmerized, the hypnotization, that is the thing to take you out of your element. That is the thing to disconnect you from source. And they've done a pretty good job of disconnecting people. And now you broke as hell and now nobody want to love you. And now you mad at your money. You mad at the money and the money don't even have a consciousness or it does have a consciousness is know to stay the fuck away from you because you're going to give your money to Roscoe every Friday because mm -hmm. he know that you get paid on Friday, so he hit you up. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. you know, you just overall in a space of not having the relationship that you want because you don't really? have a relationship with yourself. Let's 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 bring it to the to the front of the room and bring it right in front of people. A positive mm -hmm. relationship with yourself the natural response is to give positive energy to others. But if you do not have that positive energy to give to yourself, then let's cancel the door for sorcery. Let's cancel the door mm -hmm. for occultism. Let's cancel the mm -hmm. door for psychic abilities. Let's cancel the door for all of this shit because you're going to spend all of your time and energy being mad at an imperfect world. And the world Pretty was set much. up specifically for it to be imperfect so you could be complaining, mm -hmm. so you could be tapped out of your problems. So when you go to any city in town of America, you say, well, what is it like living in, you know, Flat Buck Hill, Virginia? And they say, I hate it here. Every small town in America you go to, you ask them. Every city you go to, how do you feel about living in Texas? You know what? I hate it here. This is sucking. This is bad. And that is bad. You know why that happens, bro? Because it was set up for you to hate it. Now, until you get into your own self, you're going to always hate everything. And it's only a moment or a matter of time. So in actually dealing with this relationship to yourself, Hopefully we can get you to a point where you can begin to get up out of these spells. You know, this, mm -hmm. this transition on June 23rd was very symbolic of the energy that has been holding you on lockdown without you even realize you were on lockdown because you only care about Derek Jackson or what they're showing you on spiritual world Instagram, right? What they're mm -hmm. showing you on the shade room. This is a lot of people who don't know what the hell we talking about right now, serpent, but 10 times out of 10, it's affected you in some way. You bought a computer mm -hmm. with McAfee already on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have no idea what that McAfee box just keep popping up. Just show up at your like, crib. You're like, damn, why does McAfee joint just keep bothering me? Crazy. Because you have no idea that you actually need it. He just he he just tapped in. He knew that you already needed it. So he just made sure you he, put it He there. knew that you already needed antivirus software. Because you was yeah, just going to hop on the line wire, right? And get viruses on your shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ASAP. ASAP. You was just going to go right to uh, the pirate bay. Napster. Just download, <laughs> just download whatever. I could get it free. Oh, yeah. I'm jumping on that. Yeah. And now yeah. your shit got viruses. So let's... let's Let's we did a whole setup for what we about to talk about in the future, man. Let's give a segue to what's about to happen in the future and you know give people time to, you know, go over what we talked about as we go over what we talked about and get these clips. <laughs> but I <laughs> but I digress. Let's let's deal with where we where we've been and where we're gonna go from here. How about it, bro? All right. Well the serpent has been No no no, tight. I'm gonna do a video. Sound is the substance of creation.
meanings are made up in human minds. Or in other words, everything is sound. 